Administrator McCarthy, my first question, and this will not surprise you, goes to the Secret Science Reform Act that I introduced that passed the House and that has passed a, uh, uh, the relevant committee in the Senate. Uh, President Obama's own science advisor, John Holdren, testified before the committee and said, absolutely, the data on which regulatory decisions and other decisions are based should be made available to the committee and should be made public. Why don't you agree with the President's science advisor and why don't you agree that this data that you use to justify these regulations uh, should be made public? As you know, the bill doesn't take a position on any regulation. We're not making a judgment call. We're just saying the American people and other scientists deserve to see this data. I'm hoping you've changed your mind and if so, I uh, would welcome that comment. Well, Mr. Chairman, let me first say that, that we, EPA totally supports both transparency as well as a strong peer-reviewed independent science process. But the bill, I am afraid, I don't think will get us there. We have had conversations about this before, Mr. Chairman. The way in which our science works is for scientists to to develop But, but why uh, not science. make this information public? Why not the, make it publicly available? The information that you are asking us to reveal is revealing publicly okay, now identifiable you, Right. Now, you and I both know, and we have talked about this many times, that information can be redacted. And I agree that it should be redacted. So why can't you release the information after it has been redacted? I think the fundamental difference of opinion we have, sir, is I don't, I don't actually need the raw data in order to develop science. That is not how it is done understand, but why don't you give us the data that you have and why can't you get that data? Surely you have the data that you base the regulations upon. Well, EPA has the authority and the need to actually get information that we have right. provided to you. But you are saying you contradictory things. You are saying you can't give us information because it is personal, then you are saying you don't have the information. Which is it? Well, when, when we receive the information, we are not allowed to release it, and there is much information that we are not, right. that we do not have the authority you've to got gather. The president's it science advisor saying, our ability to do you've the got the President's science advisor saying you should make it public. I am willing to say we will be happy to redact all the personal information. There is no good reason why other scientists can't review it. There is no good reason why I don't think that the American people shouldn't see it either. We are absolutely in line with the science advisor. The science advisor, however, isn't indicating that every study that EPA looks at to determine to have a body of I'm science. I'm not saying every decision. study. I'm just saying the studies and the data that you relied upon to try to justify but That is these a body of data that we did not generate yeah. that is generated in science and uh, peer well, review. I, I wish the EPA would follow. You know, the ranking member said you have nothing to hide. And yet it looks to me like you are hiding a lot from the American people, and maybe we just Mr. have Chairman, to disagree on that. Chairman, we are just protecting people's privacy. And again, there are ways to do that, and every other agency does it except for the EPA. You I can redact the information.